What's going on everyone? This is Bear Z Beats and welcome back to the Olympia Owls Dynasty. Before we get into the video, I just want to say I am loving the feedback and support on the channel so far, and I appreciate every single one of you who have decided to watch my videos. If you are enjoying this series, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on those notifications, and drop a like. One like really does go a long way. With that said, let's get into it, shall we? Last episode, after coming within 3 of 18th ranked Washington, we had a 4th quarter meltdown you'd have to see to believe. I'm still not quite over it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Really hoping we can rebound this week against a much less talented San Diego State. But before we get into that, let's talk about recruiting a little bit. One of my viewers mentioned how I should rank the recruits based on how much I want them, and I am a man of the people, so there you go. This series isn't for me, it's for all of you, so if you do ever have a suggestion, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Well, it's clear athlete William Lamb does not want to play on this football team. So you know what, joke's on you, I don't want you anyways, get out of here. I'd really like to add some speed at the running back position, so I added two more recruits just for fun. This dude is not looking like the answer. But this guy's a gem, 92 speed, that's nice. Shane Bush. Hopefully he plays better than that crappy beer taste. I went ahead and moved him to the top of the board. Now let's go ahead and set up some visits. We're up around 2,000 points with quarterback Jonathan Ward, and I want him to commit as soon as possible, so let's schedule him for week 7 against Fresno State. Got a big lead with defensive end Johnny Parks, might as well do the same thing. Defensive tackle Jared Young gets a nice boost that week, so might as well send him too. Let's finish strong, punter Ray Watson, Fresno State. Getting into this week's matchup, San Diego State is obviously better than us in nearly every category, but they are significantly worse in Washington, so that's good. Honestly, I'm just glad the bar isn't shaking this week. Let's get into this one. Here we are in San Diego, facing our first conference opponent of the season. These are the games that really matter. And he gets to about the 27 yard line. Here comes our defense. And it's picked off by Ulysses Melton. Oh, and he's taking this back for six on the first play of the game. That's our first interception of the season. Finally, someone held on to one. What a way to start the game. All right, let's keep this momentum going. There's a run for about seven yards. Oh, man, he flew right by me. Ah, that's a first down. And it's dropped. Welcome to my life. San Diego State is not off to the best start. Oh, I thought I was going to get him. And we finally bring him down. That tight end is tough. Oh, he tossed me like a mile away. And then, of course, he falls forward for like 10 yards. Come on. And just like that, San Diego State ties it up. Man, this team is bad at tackling. All right, it's our first offensive drive of the game. And it's a run for loss, the usual. Nice sideline snag by Jarevicius. Third and three. That one was way off. We're gonna have to punt this one. There's Washington with another solid run. My leg! <laughs> These tackling animations are hilarious. Oh, I thought McLean had him. He was so close. And we get this stop. It's fourth down. I hope they don't go for this. But of course they're going for it. But this dummy throws it out of bounds. That actually worked out. It's our ball. Russ Russ for an eight-yard gain. Oh, please get there. And that's a first down, barely. It's his first positive rush of the game. Oh, what a solid run from Holy Cross. <laughs> he gets laid out this time, dang. What is going on with Warsaw today? Throw isn't even close. We're back on defense. What a tackle in the backfield by Whitehead. We're all over it. That's back-to-back -back tackles for loss. 
We better not ruin it and give up a first. What a clutch deflection by McTaggart. That was the best defensive stand I've seen all season. Let's see what Jarvis can do. Oh, he breaks a tackle. Oh, he breaks another one. Keep going. Get around him. Oh, I thought he was going to make something happen. Nice return. Here's Waters with his first catch of the game. Eight yards. Oh, Holy Cross is short. I think it's time for Jordan Van. Old faithful Van picking up the first and then some. Bo got nailed, but it doesn't matter. Paris mixed in with his first catch of the game. And after that nice throw, he does that. Man, this kid is inconsistent. There's those hands. All right, we got to get our three points. And Fowler down the middle. We're up three. That's not how you want to start out a drive. This kid is running all over us. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I don't even know what to do. Finally, a run for loss. That was a nice stop from Elijah Everett. Oh, it's a screen. Oh, I panicked there for a second. I'm glad I got him. It's fourth down. I think they're going to take their points and tie this game up. We have a minute and 25 seconds to put some points on the board before the half. Holy Cross is wide open. What a solid play. That's how you start off a drive. Flats is open. There's another first down from Jerevicious. We got ourselves in third and long. But it doesn't matter. Waters comes down with it. He's always making a play when it matters. After every great throw, he does something like that. There's Wally's first catch of the game. Stepping out of bounds. 31 seconds left. Guess who? It's Waters again. That's first and goal. There's Jared Vicious for a touchdown. And there's only 20 seconds left in the half. That was a heck of a drive. There's a sack from Vince Rowland. And we're going into the second half, 17 to 10. All right, Jarvis, let's start the second half off strong. Oh, he's got the edge. He's breaking tackles. Oh, he almost gets to the 50. What a return. There's a good run by Holy Cross. 10 yards. Back up tight end Patrick Nolan with the catch. Oh, and he's dragging people for yards. Nice. You know, after last week's shenanigans, I never thought I'd run the triple option again, but let's test the waters. Hey, there's a successful pitch. All right, gain it too, but you know what? At least I didn't fumble. Oh, no. What happened to Warsaw? I did not realize he got hurt. Oh, I almost screwed that one up. Thank goodness he dropped it. It's fourth down. Looking like it's not serious, so he should be back. And Fowler's two for two. He has not missed this season. His long's like 30 yards, but irrelevant. What a play from Bobo McGuire. Yeah, we get the stop. It's fourth down. This defense has really stepped up today. McDuffie's still in the game, so might as well get some read option in. That's a good run. Seven yards. Holy Cross finally getting some open lanes this game. And Warsaw's back, so that's good. There's another first. Jared Vicious is our number four or five receiver, but has really stepped up since Yannick Ewing went down last week against Washington. Waters with a stiff arm on the way down. What a deflection by the defense. We gotta punt this one. If they ran the ball every play, they'd be whooping our butts. There's another funny tackle animation. 
Another third down stop. We tackled him with like six dudes. I guarantee they're going for this though. Well, of course they run it and get the first. That's all right. Oh no. That's their backup running on us now. And there's an easy touchdown. We're only up by three points now in the fourth quarter. Oh no, not again. Looks like Jalen Butthurt's lost to the Fighting Irish. That's neat. We need this run game to finish strong. I'd love to milk some clock. There's a good start from Holy Cross. And a first down on the very next play. Holy Cross is heating up. This offensive line's looking good right now. And there's the backup Osborne picking up a first down. I should keep running the ball, but I just can't help myself. And it totally pays off. There's Paris Nixon with a first down. Oh, we took his ankles. What a juke. What a throw from Big Bo. That rhymed. And they have to use their last time out. Nice. And Holy Cross goes up the middle for his first rushing touchdown of the season. Hopefully I don't screw this up in the next minute and 22 seconds. Trevor Lawrence and the Clemson Tigers beat Wake Forest. I hear she's pretty good. Oh, that was a nice catch. Oh gosh, that Washington kid has been killing us all day. Oh, that could have ended it. Gee dang it. And he drops it. It's fourth down. Looks like they're going to take their three and then go for the onside kick. And of course he makes it. All right, all we got to do is recover this, and this game is over. And we get it. Oh, please don't fumble. All right, let's go. Victory formation feels so good. And this game's officially over. We win it 27 to 20. DeAndre Holy Cross gets player of the game. He really stepped it up in the fourth quarter. Warsaw was a little inconsistent today, but you know what? He didn't throw an interception, so that's a good game in my book. Player of the game, DeAndre Holy Cross, ran for 82 yards, a touchdown, and averaged almost five yards a carry. Waters led the team in receiving today. Not the craziest stat line, but more importantly, we only had two drops as a team all day. Obi Whitehead led the team in tackles with nine. We only had one sack from defensive tackle Vince Rowland. And we finally got our first team interception with cornerback Ulysses Melton. Good win last week over San Diego State. Now build on that success. Finally, some positive criticism. We're currently ranked third in the conference standings. Undefeated in our conference, no big deal. Here's a look at the Heisman watch list for those of you who are curious. Might be a while till we have some owls on there, unfortunately. And it's looking like we're ranked number 69 in the nation. Nice. Next episode, we'll be taking on the Fresno State Bulldogs, and we'll have our first recruits of the season visiting. But anyways, that's going to wrap this one up. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please drop a like, subscribe, and feel free to hit me up in the comments. But anyways, this is Bears Eat Beats, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Have a good one.